everyone, welcome back to the Sims 4 Legacy A through Z challenge that I just made up with Sushi Bushi. All right, so where we left off, she is pregnant. She should be having her baby soon. She is going into her third trimester. So hopefully soon we will have number two of generation B. He's still working on his parenting skill, though he is exhausted. We should s send him to bed. Oh, she's pretty exhausted too. Let's send her to bed and let's speed things along. What is she even reading? She's like, you're reading her to sleep. I want to read her to sleep too. So she's just like, I'm just going to read alongside you guys with a different book. My book is better than your book. Oh no, that's sad. Let's put her to bed. She's like, I sense you're awake. Yes, go back to sleep. Ooh, the fridge is stinky. And she has to use the restroom. What is the toddler doing? Can she be okay, yeah. So she's already level two, so she can kind of take care of mostly herself. Then why don't you... Wow, this is really early in the morning. You should... Go back to sleep. I know she's very hungry, but... She can serve breakfast. Let's do a breakfast scramble. Did he do his stuff for the day already? Uh, yes. He has to work at nine. And he's already hit everything. Awesome. So then, why don't you I forgot. It used to say like what emotion you should feel for the ta or for your job. But it doesn't say that anymore. Oh man. Oh, he can repair that while he's waiting for breakfast. Oh. She just sneezed in there. Ugh. Delightful. She has to go to potty. Then she can grab the serving. We're gonna let her help herself today. She's getting a little older. She can do it. How is she doing? She's actually doing pretty good with a lot of her skills. Let's see if we can get them all up to three before we age her up. Yeah, why don't you scavenge for parts? And then you can grab a serving and then you'll be going to work. And we'll put this in the trash. Yay, $30. should be finishing up soon. Wow, she already has to go to the bathroom again. Yikes. So their house is quite small. I think I might be looking to expand this a little bit. Okay, she's getting there. She's gonna need a bath soon. We can do that after she eats. Does she have anything for work right now? Ooh, that one, one makes a good chunk. Let's do that one. 
due by 9 a.m. Thursday. It's Monday. We got some time. And he will be going to work. It's like... Okay, so she's in her third trimester, so she should be having the baby really soon. Put that away. And why don't you chat with your client? Why is she so sad? Oh, because daddy left and she had a potty accident. It's okay, we've all been there. Where her skills? Movement, potty, and thinking. Ooh, making some money. I have to write a mystery novel. Why don't you eat your whole meal? Why don't you eat your whole meal and then play? Then I don't have to worry about feeding you so soon. Mail. Let's pay the bills. Does she have mail as well? We'll check the mail anyway. What was wrong with that surface there? I... Hashtag Sims logic. Yeah, it's raining. Let's... Oh man. It's about to downpour where I am. Hopefully, it won't be too loud. So we need to write a... Mystery novel! Just check it, yes. So she can do that while she finishes this. Come on. Finish eating. Blight. Sure. You know what? Let's not dwell on the name. Because we could always change it later. Let's play some shape. Let's read what where it even what the client says uh, for this gig. Help! We need more detective stories. Slater Publishing House is contracting talent talented writers to help pen detective stories for our monthly publications, Sleuths and Scofflaws. If you have a talent for building a compelling mystery and complex culprits, we want to work with you. That did not help me come up with a name for the book. So maybe we'll just leave it for them and they can name it whatever they want. She's still sad about the potty accident. She'll have to get over it. It is fall. Mm. I'm trying to think. We could probably move this room up. And then put another room here, maybe. Maybe even move the kitchen and bathroom. Maybe. Hmm. I forgot how far this goes back. Maybe to to here. I don't know. Oh, she's sparkling. She's so inspired. Why don't you? Wow, apparently you need to use the restroom, and then why don't you take a thoughtful shower to get inspired again? And then we can 
the zoom writing. Light. There we go. How is she doing on her skills? Not bad. Maybe when he gets home, he can give her a bath. He gets home at five. So that will probably be a good idea. She's almost done writing the book. That's not too bad. she gets more if it's a bestseller. Let's send it to the client for approval. Awesome. The case was closed. Sleuth sleuths and scoff laws had their cover story. The narrative was an inventive, the criminal inspired. Or cr yeah, the criminal inspired. Now it's time for the silent reflection and a juice. Straight. Suddenly, a notification appeared on the screen. The author kept the corner, <laughs> kept in the corner of her eye. With a single press of a button, the notice illuminated the virtual landscape before them. Gratuity from Slater Publishing, most appreciated, told of a client well satisfied in a postscript, in a postscript, and asked to delve into another conundrum. But Alice needed her rest. Time to calm the mind before bur burrowing back into the muck and grime of another investigation. Alright. Not bad. Okay. So, why don't we have her go to the bathroom and then she can serve a nice dinner. Let's find- well, let's do grilled cheese. The child should like that. And he is tense. But let's have her go potty. He needs to have some fun. So why don't we have him play a game? You know, I've been having him do incredible sports. Let's have him do incredible sports all, ag again. He has to do programming. But we'll have him build up his fun first. Again, why? <laughs> then after dinner, he can give her a bath and then work on his programming. And mom can... I don't know, maybe work on another book. up a serving for yourself. How's your fun doing? You are already there. And why don't you put Bianca here? What? Why make a mess? You don't need to make a mess. Eat grilled cheese. not working out the way that I thought. So why are you No, no, no. Put Bianca here. Stop. Why is this so hard? And then you can eat. And then we can just watch the family eat delightfully. Do not. Ugh. Oh, you know what? Fine. She doesn't need to sit in the chair to eat. It's not worth it. Are you asking me to put back in the chair to eat? Oh my gosh. Why is there a little girl just walking up to her door? 
Who are you, little girl? And why are you knocking on our door? Yeah, let's invite her in. Sure, child, come in. Maybe you could be friends with our child when she grows up. Here, why don't you talk to the stranger, the other child that's your age. Why is he still tense? He does need to use the restroom, but he can use that after he finishes eating, and then maybe give Bianca a bath. It is really starting to come down outside. It's funny when it's raining in the game and then raining in real life. And now there's just this random little girl in our house. Let's do a friendly introduction, because maybe she'll be friends with our little girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's just doing her homework. Yeah, just sure. Maybe she just needs help. Maybe her parents are too busy for her. I don't know. And why don't you read Toddler to sleep because apparently she's going to be flipping out soon. And then you can use the restroom. I guess I'll put that away so we don't waste it. And why can't you say hi to her? Can you help her with her homework? Maybe her parents just, you know, like, hey, we're neighbors, my parents are too busy for me, can you, can I hang out here for a little bit? Maybe her parents are going through a divorce or something and they are having a difficult time. And she just needs a place to hang out, you know. I guess I can't help her with her homework. Maybe you can only do that if it's your child. I don't know. Alright. This is not working out. For some reason I can't I'm having like a really hard time talking to her. So she's just this random child that came in the house. And there's nothing I can do about that. Elsa. Are you gonna take your homework or are you just gonna stand there really awkwardly? This is so weird. He's like, I'm sorry, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. And it just is getting weirder. Maybe we'll do a friendly introduction and then you'll ask her to leave. You can pee first, dude. No, apparently he's gonna... Yes, go pee. Or whatever you need to do. Now ask her to leave. And then why don't you practice programming for tomorrow? I... Why do things keep on breaking? And she left her homework. Which is really annoying because you can't do anything with someone else's homework here. Maybe she'll be back and she'll get it. 
Uh, uh, uh. It's baby time! So let's have baby at the hospital. We'll bring Daddy Brock. Not that he was very useful last time, but most of the time, father's panic. All right, let's check in at the front desk. Ishla quiz, uh huh. Ishla quiz. There we go, baby number two. Check that. Check it. Check in. <laughs> Hello. Labor here. Oh, Stop having you. a great conversation over there. Hello. Uh. And he's just like, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to go play big block on the computer while you're in labor. Oh. Well, I figure I do that. Well, at least practice programming because you need that for work. Uh. <sighs> Can you not check in? Why? Why is this not working? <laughs> no, she's just gonna skip it. She's just like, you're you're taking way too long, you're not helping me. This baby is coming. I'm just gonna go into the ER. Tough cookies. I'm not even gonna wait for the doctor to appear. It's coming. No young door. Uh -huh. Alright, is it going to be a boy or a girl? I haven't even picked out a name. There are no comments, so I'm going to have to pick a name. Names that begin with B. Uh oh. They froze. Baby number two, here we go. Aww. Oh no. Oop. It's another girl. So we went with Bianca last time. Hmm. Should we go with like names that kind of like go together, like Bianca and Brianna? Or should we just go completely different and do like Bethany? I think I'll do Brianna. Brianna. Zeta. Aww, baby number two. Congratulations, the doctor has prepared the birth certificate. So now we got the second birth certificate. How cute. And I like how he's still <laughs> pre parental panic. <laughs> And he's just still, let's, let's stop your programming and let's just go home. Hey, at least he completed his programming. <laughs> it's one way to do it there, Brock. And they both look exhausted. So, I feel like we shouldn't leave the baby in there. Let's go with the baby here for now, because in there it's going to wake up the toddler constantly every time she cries. So, you apparently got an entire night's sleep at daycare. So, why don't you just go potty, and then you can... Play some sim shape. And why don't you change dirty diaper? Let's feed the baby. Let's socialize with the baby. And 
he is exhausted so why don't you just go to sleep she's doing okay so she can at least take care of the baby first oh she's happy for a new sibling oh bianca and, and brianna are gonna be best of friends so amazing. And then when he wake up, you can repair that. And then, you know what? I'm gonna get leftovers. I think I saved her half a sandwich, so you know what? Why don't you eat your half a sandwich? Top off your food before you go and do something else. So she just needs to get uh, the communication. I gotta get that up. Come on. How's she doing on parenting? Six. Not bad. Apparently she's going to have a midnight snack. And then let's go to sleep. Okay. So generation B is off to a strong start. Sleep in. It's like five o'clock in the morning. It's all good. She'll play for a little bit and then we'll have her go to sleep. So she'll get. She won't be like uh, going to sleep at like five o'clock at night. Ah. Oh. No. Okay, I guess you'll be repairing that too when you wake up. Let's find another one for her to do. Is there another one that's like 3,000? Oh, another mystery one. We're working on solving the real life mystery of who wrote the piano classic for Bella. The mysterious song that almost anyone who plays the piano eventually learns. Who wrote it and why? And why does everyone keep asking about it? That's really funny because it's probably for Bella Goth. <laughs> She is doing great. Everything's just breaking and making a mess. She like doesn't even need any sleep at all. Maybe she'll, once she gets to level three of thinking, we'll have her go to bed, get some sleep, and then he'll wake up eventually. And He'll just get some leftovers before going to work. Oh no. Not you changed dirty diaper. And then scavenge for parts. It's okay, baby Brianna. It's okay, Brianna. Okay, mom is almost set. She can mop everything. Ooh. She hit level three, and she apparently is very hungry. 
Let's get some breakfast out for her. She'll grab a serving and then she'll go to sleep. Let's and then she can do some more stuff. Um, why don't you feed her, socialize with her? Maybe I should have her go to potty first. Eek. And then go to sleep. Then he can work hard. That's fine. And then we can chat with the client. Did you finish your food? Okay. I'll have to get that moved. How is she doing on her aspiration? She's friends with two of her three children. The third one has not been born yet. Have a child get married. Is that the... No. Socialize with your child or grandchild ten times. Become good friends with four children or grandchildren. Yikes. So I think what we should do now is add in another bedroom, since we have two children. Now she can chat with client. All right, so we updated the house a bit. I'm still figuring out what I wanna do with the kitchen, but we can do some more of that later. In the meantime, they got some stuff to work on. We're gonna focus on aging up Brianna in the next episode and I guess also Brianna, because she'll she's a baby. She should be aging up to a toddler very soon. And then we'll have to think about when do we want to work on baby number three? And can we fit all the children in this teeny tiny house? But that's for the next episode. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. And the little bell next to it will let you know whenever... I post a new video. And if you have any baby names for baby number three of Generation B, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next part.